once again, diet is really important in order for you to have the energy. I mean, aside from praying and fasting, uh, when you get off of your fast, it's very important to put good food in your body. It really does help when you're going up against these people, when you're battling them. You know, your thoughts are clear. You feel good. These are just some examples of some high vibrational food. Looks like my battery is getting low, so let me go ahead and plug my charger in. See, I got these, uh, and I shop at HEB. I don't know if they have HEBs at, you know, where you guys are at. But I always try to stick with organic foods. You know, foods that have the original seeds and, and whatnot that's not genetically modified. Those are the best types of foods to put into your body. So we got organic grape tomatoes. And... I got organic baby bella, organic uh, portobello mushrooms, good source of protein if you're uh, doing the vegan thing or just cutting meat out your diet. I also buy, I bought a, uh, a protein powder thing, uh, it's in my trunk, I don't feel like digging for it right now, but I use that for additional added protein because being a guy for, for uh my fellow uh, men targeted individuals, uh, it's essential for us to have an adequate amount of protein. You know, we got to have a lot of protein for that muscle. And what else do we have? Uh, walnut halves and pieces. These are good uh, for my blood type specifically. You may want to look up what your blood type is or go get tested to find out so that you can start eating the right foods that... Um, that goes in conjunction with your blood type so I know these specifically are really good for my blood really all these foods that I'm pointing out are good for my blood type and what else do we have strawberries organic strawberries it's good for your skin I believe strawberries have a good bit of a uh, vitamin C if I'm not mistaken so yeah, organic strawberries Ooh, I'm running out of space here. Blueberries are good for your uh, brain function. It's good for memory. You know, any uh, dark colored uh, fruits are really good for you. Again, everything must be organic. Try to get as many organic products as you possibly can. Now, this stuff is pricey. It is very pricey these days to eat healthy. Uh, they have it backwards, you know, all the junk food and stuff is real cheap, but the stuff that, that really does your body good, that allows you to grow spiritually, that, grow, that, that allows your mind to function more properly, it seems like those foods are the ones that they charge an arm and a leg for. But being that I live out my vehicle, being that I don't pay rent, I don't have a light bill, I don't pay a gas bill, I don't pay a water bill, you know, my, my expenses are pretty minimal, uh, with the exception of having to fix something on my car almost every week, but other than that you know I spend I rather spend money on building up my temple on taking care of my temple on making my temple pure as opposed to spending it on nonsense like $200 for a pair of Jordans or you know just buying all these stupid clothes these name brand clothes I don't wear anything well I, I do have a few name brand things left but a lot of things I threw away and the clothes that I wear, I don't like to wear clothes with any designs in it. I'm just a plain Joe. I wear solid colored shirts, you know, solid colored pants. Uh, they might have some designing in it as far as like the threading, but nothing extravagant. I mean, I'm an older guy, so I'd look pretty weird trying to be hip wearing all these designs and stuff in my clothes. But um, yeah, just instead of spending money on weed and drugs and you know, popping pills or drinking alcohol, you know, spend money on eating good foods and they really do help you feel better. You know what I mean? When you eat healthy, man, I'm able to battle these people like it's nothing. Feeling good. I got the power greens, triple washed. I think this consists of a spinach, kale, and what else is supposed to be in here? Yeah, organic spinach, organic mizuna, organic chard, and organic kale. 
So this is uh, this is your Popeye food, the food that uh, Popeye would always eat. He'd pop open the can of uh, spinach, and he was ready to whip butt. This is very essential to have right here. So again, I like to spend my money on, on things like this to, to be a better me, you know what I mean? And you're able to battle these people a lot better. I got organic mandarins. I know these are probably loaded with vitamin C too. You know, these are these are uh, foods that are alive. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to eat from the dead anymore. You know, I, I really don't want to eat meat anymore. Foods like this make you feel really nice and just got the organic, uh, organic avocados. Yep. Got the organic avocados, and I believe that's it. Oh, cucumbers, organic cucumbers, foods that are alkaline foods, those are the foods that will help you fight any disease or sickness that you have. If you can get your body in the alkaline state, uh, according to Dr. Sabi, you get your body in the alkaline state, you know, that wards off any diseases that you may have and even pre prevents you from getting diseases as well. Because from my understanding, mucus is what causes a lot of diseases. You know, the mucus build up in the uh, blood cells and whatnot. So if you can rid your body of mucus, disease, you know, it, it, disease is not going to be able to, to dwell within your body if it's in an alkaline state. Okay, so I also purchased organic um, virgin coconut oil. This is very good for your teeth. Um, if you, if you don't want to use toothpaste, this is be the perfect thing to use. I still use toothpaste in addition to using this. So what I'll do is I'll brush my teeth with toothpaste, uh, with, with minimal fluoride or no fluoride. And, um, I'll then do this, uh, as a secondary means of cleaning my mouth. It's also good for your, um, it, it removes plaque from your teeth. Uh, it freshens your breath a lot better. You know, it, it makes your tongue real clean and. You just basically take a couple teaspoons of this and you put it in your mouth and you kind of swish it around, I think for like 20 minutes. Try doing this for like a month or two and you'll see a drastic change in the color of your teeth. You know, they, they'll go to like from being dim to like uh, pearly whites. So, yeah, this is really good. You can also eat this. Um, from my understanding with my blood type, I'm not supposed to eat this. I can swish it around, but I got to spit it out. I do use this on my skin as well. So you can use it as a um, as a moisturizing agent for your skin. It's better than using products that have you know cancer causing agents. You know some of these lotions have things in there that's not really good for us. You know they try to kill us. It's a slow uh, kill process. So they're going to put things in products that aren't good for us, so as to keep us going through the uh, the medical system, having to go back and forth to the doctor, and then that tapers off into getting prescription medications and stuff like that. So. Man, if you can just eat healthy and take care of yourself, you, I can't even tell you the last time I even went to a doctor, to be honest with you. I never get sick. I never get sick. And I haven't always ate healthy. I think it. I think what it boils down to is just the father's hand on me, and in addition to that, my genetics. Um, I have very strong uh, genetics. But yeah, I never get sick. Everybody around me, you get, get the sniffling and sneezing and coughing and feeling really bad but I'm always the one that's kind of like you know I'll be the one having to take care of everybody everybody else but I just wanted to share this with you guys and uh yeah so oh and these perps have the audacity to make fun of me when I'm in the store trying to mock me for buying foods that's going to do my body good I guess they're talking about well you don't make that much money so why are you spending all this money? You know, they have their little subliminal ways of saying things to you and doing directed conversation. Oh, he's spending all his little check on his all, all this food. I'm like, look, your health is your wealth. You know, if you don't take care of your body, and it, it'll be the fat perps that'll be saying it. You know, it'll be the ones that look all nasty and you could tell they never lifted a weight day in their life. They don't exercise. They probably sit in front of the TV playing Xbox all day or something. But, um... Yeah, I really don't pay them no attention. But again, it, it, I do this solely for the sole purpose of serving the most high. I don't do this because I'm trying to look good for females or look good for people. I do it because I want my vessel to be clean. I want my temple to be clear. 
so that whenever the Most High needs to use me for something, I'm available. That's my son. Let's pick him. Let's use him for this or whatever. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for him and only him. And uh, another thing I wanted to talk about, I know people are probably like, you know, why are you living out your car? You know, you're working, you know, try to get you a place. Listen, I would prefer not to pay $600 or $700 a month for an apartment or to rent a house and have to come home every day to idiots banging on my wall. To come home every day to people sitting outside my door step talking real loud. Or while I'm in the house trying to get some sleep, you got people talking real loud by your bedroom window. Or having people walk their dogs by your bedroom window, taking, taking craps near your bedroom window, and you're having to smell the scent of, you know, feces within your apartment. I'd rather not come back to an apartment to where I have to park my car way on the other side of the complex because you have perps that have decided to par flood all the good parking spaces so that you can park your car way off in the distance so they can have better access to it to sabotage or to pull whatever side out they're trying to pull. So you ask me why I don't have an apartment or why I don't get my own place, this is why. I am completely and totally happy with living out my vehicle. I truly am. Because you know what? Whenever there's trouble, I can start my car up and move to the next location. That's, it's as simple as that. I can start my car up and, and you get better evidence. If you set your camera up outside your car within a certain period of time, they start showing up and you can show that to law enforcement. You can show that to people that's trying to learn about gang stalking and they can see that clearly something is going on. It, you know, it, it, it just works better for me to live out my car. There's so much evidence I haven't even posted on YouTube. It's, it's just ridiculous. A lot more law enforcement evidence I haven't even posted. But again... You do what you got to do to survive. Whatever works best for you, I'm all for it. As long as you're happy, as long as you're doing the will of the Father, hey, kudos to you. So this is why Ochu chooses not to get an apartment or a rent a house. If anything, I'd like to upgrade to like a camper or something like that. Um, I really don't want any, I really don't even want something that big, to be honest with you. You know, it's a lot easier for me because I don't have children recently divorced you know my kids were the kids that she had from a previous relationship but she doesn't let me see them anymore so i don't have any kids to take care of uh i'm not in a relationship 